before you begin weaving, let's back up a bit and prepare the sequins. Now you can get inexpensive plastic sequins, but they won't reflect sunlight or make the tinkling sound that metal sequins do. Metal sequins aren't very expensive. The sequins come in many colors and sizes, including black, gold, bronze, and silver, ranging from eight millimeters to 20 millimeters. In this project, I'm going to use about 150 10 millimeter silver sequins and 114 millimeter silver sequins. Instead of hand sewing each sequin onto your tapestry, which I have done before, and believe me, it takes forever, I have learned a few tricks since then to speed up the process, which involves preparing the sequins before we even begin weaving. For this part, you will need a needle and thin cotton string or embroidery thread in your preferred color. The holes of the sequins are only about one millimeter wide, which is very small, so a regular needle probably won't fit. My favorite beading needle opens in the center to easily add thread, and then you pull the thread to the end where it will be securely pinched in place. Load sequins onto the needle straight onto the bobbin. If you line the sequins up in your fingers, the holes should be in the same spot so you can quickly thread the needle through 50 or so sequins at once. It is super quick. Now remove the needle from the thread and grab a book or a box where one side is between 4 to 6 inches or 10 to 15 centimeters long. Wrap the thread around the box three times, overlapping the strands to secure them from slipping off. Continue wrapping the thread around the box, sliding one sequin into the center of each side as you are wrapping. This is much faster than measuring and cutting each length of yarn for the sequins to sit in the middle of. Cut the bundles of thread on each side of the box so that you end up with a pile of sequins, each hanging in the center of a length of thread. This process should take you just a few minutes instead of a few hours threading each sequin onto a length of thread one at a time like I used to do. Here I'm going to add a small ray of sequins. We will add the sequins using a technique similar to Raya knots. Grab the two tails of the threads that the sequin is centered on so that the two tails are on one end and the sequin is on the other. Place the length of thread over two warp strings then reach through the center of the warp strings and pull the sequin from the back to the front on one side and then pull the tails from the back to the front on the other side so that they both come through the center of the two warp strings. You can gently pull on the tails to determine how long you want your sequins to dangle from the surface of your tapestry or to butt up right to the edge. Add sequins using this method along the border of the tabby rows. Now use the same golden cream yarn to fill in the rest of the space above the sequins, packing the sequin raya knots in place. They won't move and you can trim their excess tails at the end of the project. While you are weaving these tabby rows, you can add strands of sequins among them using the same raya knot method as before, letting them hang about as long as the carpeted raya fringe. Adding sequins within these tabby rows instead of within the carpeted raya, make sure that they stay securely packed in so that they can't be pulled out. The carpeted raya doesn't provide as much stability for the thin threads that the sequins are hanging on as tabby will.
The final section of sequins will be 14 millimeter sequins, hung two inches or five centimeters from the surface for maximum glitter and noise as they tinkle together. I am also going to use a few single strands of yarn along with every other sequin, just to add a few wisps of texture. But I want this section to be mostly metal. Use the same Raya technique to add these, letting them hang from the surface of the tapestry. Follow each row with a few rows of tabby so that there are three to four rows of sequins to build up the layers and have them hang at different heights. Then your piece is ready to hang in a sunny spot on your wall so that the metal sequins reflect sunlight across your walls. Enjoy!